Today's Daisy adventure leads me into the vast and isolated forests of Livonia. This land consists of many territories, each under the control of different clans that are constantly fighting for power and resources, and me? I have to secure my place in all of this and carve out a territory of my own. The storms here get really bad, and if I'm being honest, survival is gonna be quite tough, but if I can move smart and search in the right spots, I can find all of the resources required to build one of the greatest settlements I've ever made. If you want to come along with me and experience all of the struggles I faced on this journey, then we're gonna have to start from the very beginning, right after a brief message from the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you've got a phone, then you've definitely heard of Raid because it's one of the most popular mobile action RPG games played by over 80 million players across the globe. If you're into action games, then Raid is perfect for you because it's full of non-stop fighting and huge battles. You can head into dungeons and face off against deadly bosses in the campaign, dive into high-stakes PvP fights against other players, and jump into faction wars. Personally, I love facing other players in the arena and experimenting with different team comps to find the best strategy to climb the ranks. This month, Raid has a new update with tons of new features including a brand new dungeon and the introduction of the Artifact Ascension. You can battle through the Sand Devil's Necropolis to earn precious oil to take your artifacts to the next level. There's also a bunch of new holiday champions added for those looking to get into the festive spirit. Raid has also released a legendary champion based off MMA and pro wrestling legend Ronda Rousey. Whether you're a new or returning player, you can get Ronda for free right now by logging into and playing for 7 days between now and February 20th. All players can use the code RAIDRONDA in game to receive 500k silver, an XP boost, and other helpful items. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can also get exclusive rewards right now. If you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description or scan my QR code in the corner of the screen and you'll get unique bonuses worth $30. These rewards include a free epic champion Ina, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, 1 XP boost and 1 Ancient Shard so you can summon awesome champions as soon as you get in game. Once you're in, all of your treasure will be waiting for you here. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring this video and now, into the story. Alright boys, welcome to a new Daisy adventure! And today I'm playing on Livonia. Which is a map I've wanted to play for a while, but there's really not many good servers for Livonia. But uh, we found one that should work today. There's already a guy running up the hill here. I'm about to chase him down. You know what, never mind, because I don't even know where he's going. Okay, so I have some big plans for today, but I don't want to reveal too much just yet. At first, we're just going to try to get a basic start, get some gear, and uh, start getting basic building supplies. Nails are very hard to find on the server, so i got to get on that right now. Also, I'm starting out not as a solo right away. I'm going to be playing with my friend Emnix, who's on the server right now. I'm going to go meet up with him. He's also a fresh spawn. So let's go meet up with him, and uh, let's get some gear, get established. Okay, you're one kilometer out. I'll uh, loot over at this thing that I'm at, and then I'll run over to you. Oh my... You good? Oh no, you just got murdered. There is a three-man squad completely geared in this... Uh, with three people in this one double barrel barrack. I opened the door and it blasted me. Three guys? Yep. Okay, let me get a gun. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go avenge you, man. Alright, I see where you are. So this is where everything began, up near the northern town of Gleniska. With high hopes of catching the guys that killed Emnix, I made my way south towards Copa Prison to find something that I could shoot with. Oh nice, we got a new shirt. I need to switch that out. Red is too loud. Those are going to see me coming from a mile away. Let's check the barrack real quick. And then uh, we'll head down towards where Emnix died at. At the prison, there wasn't really much else than a few pistols laying around, and after regrouping with Emnix here, we made our way down to the nearby village where his body was. Oh my lord and Jesus Christ. Let's fuck those dudes. What'd you get? Damn, you found that? Yeah. And armor for you. <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, we can work with that. I see your body outside. <laughs> Nah, it's clear. They moved. So most likely they went to Lucy's bunker. I mean, I guess they could have really just went south too to Trader, for all we know. The group that shot Emnix had looted him and ran off, and we figured that they went south towards the Trader and began heading in that direction. Just as we began to worry that the trail ran cold, we heard some shots ring out in the distance. So, you hear that? Oh, that's a Kavari, I think, with a suppressor. That's what it sounds like. All right, we gotta be careful, that's a gamer. That thing will one-tap both of us. <laughs> oh! What? What? Don't you hear that? No, I heard- I thought it was your mic. No? What? I didn't hear shit. I heard something, but I didn't know what that was. Like, was that a gunshot? Yeah. 
Oh, big base, big base. Left. You see that? Yeah. She's like right in front of us, like 10 meters in front of us in the bushes. No way. Yeah. What's on top of that base right there where I marked? Is that a body? Yes, two bodies. So that he's sniping. So he's gotta be up here then. Let's just make our way. They're shooting right at the base. Yeah, I don't hear that at all. So I don't know if I'm bugged or what. You have to be bugged. Yeah, thank God. I'm just gonna keep crawling up then. Try to get this guy sniping. We know there's gotta be a guy in these woods somewhere. In front of me? Five meters in front of me. Killed one. Good shot. Oh, there's another one, another one pushing you. Where, where, where? Right in front of you. I can't, I can't get out, bro. I don't, he's uncon, he's uncon, he's uncon. Right in front of me. One has a gold minigun, uncon, the gold minigun. Oh, I'm getting fucking sprayed. I got demolished by something. We don't really have any gear. So it's like either do we run back and risk it or do we just go south and cut our losses and try to get like better gear this time? I don't know. We should go down south and get our uh, maybe something else. After a rough start, we made the decision to head directly south to the Suarag military base to look for higher tier equipment. That way, if we did run into other geared groups, we would have higher chances of wiping them out. Oh shit. Are we shooting him? I tried, yeah. Okay, go. <laughs> oh, I found out SR25. With a suppressor. Wait a minute now. I wanna go BM. BM? Yeah, let's go BM. Because I have a lot to sell now. Okay. And there's a good chance we're running to gear people there. It would be a very big start if we could sell all these like higher end guns. Get some cash. Let's go. BM is like in the far western part of the map. There's not really much around there. Player? Over there. He's running towards us. Uh is that a car in the woods? I think there's a car maybe. I don't I I didn't see him, so I don't know. Oh yeah, I see him, I see him. Mark him if you can. Can't, wait, wait. Dead. Oh. You think it's just one? I think so, I'm not sure. Okay, he didn't really have anything crazy. I started 25, I'm not picking anything up, I'm just checking him. No, no, take it, take it, take it. Uh, it's really not much, like, the, he has a nice Air 15, but uh, that's about it. Alright, off to BM then, let's keep going. Surprisingly, nobody was camping the black market, and we were successful in selling some of the guns we got. I also discovered that we would be able to buy raid tools here in the future if we had enough money, so long term we would definitely be able to do some big raids. But for now we just had to focus on the basics like building up a starter base, and the black market didn't sell nails or base supplies, so that stuff would have to be found on our own. Luckily we had better gear now, and I remembered the perfect spot from earlier where we could go looking. Okay, let's see what we got here. Two dudes got folded on the roof. <laughs> I might just run down there. Oh, fuck it. Okay, what's it looking like in here, Chief? Dead people. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh, Jesus, that's that's not a lot here. Wait a minute. I got nails. Nails, cold oh, lock. Thanks. You know what? This is already good enough for me. Dude, look at the building stuff. I'm gonna go build a starter right now. This is a blessing. Running into that big group and dying turned out to be for the best because they had finished raiding this base and it was completely loaded with everything we needed to start our own. The area was still hot, so we grabbed as much as we could and got out of there before they came back to finish looting the leftovers. Get the nails, cold locks. We have everything we need to build already. Like, I got another basically 90 nails off of that, just picking up stuff in that base. Oh my fucking god, they're landing, dude. I think they're landing. Jesus, run! No, I want to go fight them, but we have too much. We fight another day. Now we have to live. Wise words, wise words. All right, I need to figure out where I'm going to build. 
And I have no clue, like, I don't even remember half this map, so I don't know what's the best area to live at. I could build up towards the coast. We can go north of here as well. Then Adamo. Let's go Adamo. We'll try to get a little starter up there. And yeah, that's the ideal location, really. Between BM, we have Trader nearby. We have the northern uh, airfield and the northern towns. That's perfect. Yeah, this is a good spot. It's like quiet, upper part of town. Very easy to defend or fortify at least. This will do. I'll put the flag down in the back corner. That's not too bad of a spot. I don't plan on being there very long at all. That shouldn't matter too much. I kind of want to make a door kit. I feel like it'll be easier to hold if I'm getting raided. Like if they blow through the door, at least there's a frame there. Whereas if it's a garage door, the whole thing's going to be gone if they blow through it, leaving me no cover. That'll do. Nice. All right, it's secure. All right, man. Good night and see you tomorrow. All right, bro. Till tomorrow. Catch you later. For now, I'm not going to build the main base yet because we still need a lot more nails and supplies, but we do have a pretty solid start off raiding or off running into that raided base. You can see all the supplies we have. Decent amount of cash from that black market run as well. Anyway, let's head up towards the airfield and see what there is to see. All right, there's ATC. Let's see if anybody's camping it. Oh my god, you can't even fucking aim with this ghillie. I need to take this off. If we get into the radar building right here, scout out the entire airfield, then move in. How many people are dying right now? Like, it's quite dead. There's a military up here. Those are open, so somebody's been through here. There's a ghillie. He probably sees me. So this is one we see? I don't have a suppressor, so that dude knows where I'm shooting from. That's for sure. If it's just one, we can deal with that, but you never know. There's probably five of them in there. Oh, there he is. Just did out in the field. Deep. What's this guy doing out there? We got one guy behind, so I can't even peek the backside. All right. Two dead. It's another one. Give me this guy's plate. Is he trying to shoot me through a wall? I'm fucking almost out of ammo here. It's 
That's another one dead. So if I get sniped in the back. Because there's still one in ATC, the Black Gilly. And then there's one in there that I heard for a fact. But you know what? We got out with what we could get. I'm not going to greed and overstay and try to loot that other guy. Because one of them's camping in the same building as me. We'll just get out with what we can get. And just like that, we vanish back into the forests of Livonia. The main thing we got out of that was this Kavari. That's a pretty decent gun. I think I can like two-tap people. Oh, there's a base here. Oh, oh. I did not know we we're living this close to a base. I didn't actually bother checking down here. Because our base is right up the hill here. And this one's kind of fat. All sheet metaled. Barbed wire throughout. And they probably have raiding tools with uh, a base looking like that. We have to get out of here by tomorrow. That base is right there. They're going to wake up, take a stroll up here, and probably just kick my door in. Okay, so I just put up the rest of my stuff. We came out of that run with a plate carrier, which is big. I got to fix this up. And we have a Kavari now. So we'll just roam with the Kavari. I'm going to head down south towards the village of Huta where that base was earlier that got raided by that group. We did salvage a lot of the stuff from there, but I'm going to go back with the hatchet and just rip some stuff down, get some more nails, planks, and hopefully sheet metal out of it. And then the plan is to come back here and probably build another door, and then we'll log for the night. That'll be the conclusion of day one. Not too bad though, not too bad so far. Other scavengers seem to have picked this raided base clean, but the one thing they left behind was shelves and storage boxes, which is exactly what I needed. So I got to work grabbing all of them for my base. Other than this, not much else happened tonight. The server was pretty quiet and it was getting late, so I just went back home and logged out for the day. We're back. Oh, no, nah, no way I got raided, right? No, it's okay. My door's still there. I thought my door wasn't there. I was about to say, no way I get raided at 4 in the morning. Yeah, everything's good. We got all our stuff. Let's get this day started. I started the day off by locking all of my valuables up in a military locker just to make it a little bit harder to access for anyone that might raid while I wasn't home. My next move was to head to the trader outpost to clear up some space by selling some of the junk I had and while I was there I took a look at what nails cost. As I had expected they were really expensive and I had nowhere near enough to build up a larger base just yet. I did have the option to keep selling guns and slowly saving up to buy a few boxes but I instead decided to just head out and try to find them the old fashioned way. And while doing that I could also look for a location to build my main base. All right, we're at a village. I don't know how to pronounce the name. I'm not even gonna bother trying, but uh, it's gives the S and we're heading west. My base is basically just the next village north of here. Hopefully we can find nails here. Cars also spawn nails. I haven't really been checking cars much. Maybe I should start doing that. Is that a gunshot? Did I just hear a gunshot or is that me eating? No, that was a gunshot. Like suppressed up in this direction or maybe like a fence closing something i don't know it definitely wasn't me yeah there's a base right there but i heard it this direction oh my god there's a bigger base here yeah it must have been here i'm just gonna creep around towards the front of this base the flag is fully raised which means it's probably active and the sound i heard was from this direction so maybe they're building i don't know it's wooden. This got to be a new construction for sure. Yeah, he's there. He's there. His gilly just uh, stuck through the window. His gilly wrap. He's peeking out. I don't know if he saw me or what. Come out to me. Is there another one? I'm gonna just try to loot real quick and run. I don't know if there's another guy up there or not. We have a lot of food. Oh, weed seeds. That's big, big, big. Okay, he doesn't really have much, I don't think, other than that. I'm just gonna run. His rifle was really bad. I think this is like a newer player or he's just not that well geared yet. I don't know who uses 45, uh, 545 on this server. Like, you might as well use a sporter. That's not killing anybody. But yeah, we're back, we're back, okay. 
Let's put up these guns real quick. All the stuff I got will sell later on. And uh, I'm going to head back to that same base, see if I could get lucky. The guy's probably still going to be around. He most likely will run back or respawn in his base if he has a sleeping bag. And I'll be able to catch him at the door. I'll play a little bit closer this time. Okay, let's get real close. And try to get right in front of his door. And hopefully he'll come out again. This time I'll catch him while it's open. Oh my god, is that him? That's him looting, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's a zombie. It might be a zombie. I don't know. There's something with a yellow bag, and I don't think that's a zombie. Oh, it's, it's him, it's him. No way. He just got back, I think. Yeah, I see him. That's his bag. Fuck, it's another one. Wait a minute. So there's two of them. Should I just murder them again and take the gear? Okay. I got greedy, guys. I know, I should have waited. But there's two guys right there. Is there a third? Let's wait and see. Hopefully nobody's in that window. Would have got a vector. Lock. Not really seeing too much of anything here. Are these guys really this broke? What do we have? Oh, SR25. No, 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 no. This guy got gear. This guy got gear. Mosin SKS. Nice helmet. Yeah. I think that's good enough right there. I'm getting out. That's another quick little hit right there. <laughs> I'll take the gear and go. I don't know. Should I have waited for them to go back to the door? I don't know, man. That that guy had so much gear. We got an SR25. That's huge. Alright, so it's really stormy right now. The fog is a good time to move, and people aren't going to hear me as much in the rain. We're going to try to head north from here. Cross the river and build somewhere in the northern edge of the map. I feel like that's a really quiet area. Because there's not that much good gear there. So we'll look around these small villages, find a nice little spot. Hopefully we can make a freestanding base. Between attacking those guys south of me and settling my base right next to what looked like a clan base right down the road, I was a target. I still didn't have enough to make a larger base, but the nails that I did have would be enough for me to make a temporary base at a new, safer location, so I took advantage of the bad weather and made my way north, hoping that nobody would spot me. So I want to build near a body of water though if I can, that way I can fish and have a food source. So I'm going to go ahead and check this little pond over here, north of Lukau, and then if I don't find anything there, I have my eyes on another pond here near Brenna. And one here, all the way up here. Hopefully that's not too close to this military, I don't know. Okay, so this is the pond that I want to build at, but it looks like there's a base literally right there. What's the odds that somebody's building here? That's insane. What the hell? Oh my god, that's annoying. Okay, I'm going to just uh, take a quick look and see what they got in there. And, oh, they got a big compound, actually. This isn't just a small base. This is, uh, this is a girthy setup. Oh, shit. Somebody's building here. Oh, yeah, this is fresh right here. All this stuff is still just placed. What do we got? Okay, there's nothing really too crazy in here. I was expecting nails or something like that, but... It doesn't look like there's any of that. A lot of people have the same idea as me, too. Like, people build near these quiet little ponds. I guess with the hopes that the big groups never find them. This is the first time I see this island available. Usually somebody always builds there. Damn. I could build there. You're in the middle of the water. It's a pretty good area to be at. We're on the top right of the map. Trader is right there. Like two, two and a half thousand meters away. Yeah, that's crazy. Nobody built here. Fishing rod. It's a sign, guys. This is it. This is where I'm going to live. Okay, so if we're going to build here, we have to secure this building first. That means we have to patch up the roofs 
people can come right through these holes and we have to block off all the windows so i'm gonna go get some sticks get a flag down claim the territory before somebody else does and uh yeah we'll get to building i guess nice okay this is almost perfect even if they get through that hole in the roof they're not gonna get in here He's secure. Although if somebody finds it, it is only one wooden door. But you know what? It's a start. I have big plans for this base. I just need the nails, basically. If I get nails, I'm going to do something crazy here. Getting nails is going to be the problem. Okay, so we did hear a heli crash like that direction, which I believe is north. We're going to go look for that. And then afterwards, I'm going to go back to that base I saw near that pond I was initially going to build at. That pond was, I think, this one right here next to Colin Bordy. So this house right there. There should be a base there. So we'll check over here for the heli crash and we'll head that way. What the f is that guy doing? Oh my god, I almost just shit myself. Is he solo? That guy's coming from the base at the lake that I was going to. What do you got? Oh! <gasps> sellables. A lot of sellables. Cash, too. He just came back from Trader, I think. His name is Dark Angel. Let's pull back real quick. He was running in a straight line. If his base is here, which I think it is, why would he be running straight to these houses? There's got to be a base up here. Shall we be friendly with them, guys? Maybe we'll be friendly. I feel bad for him. He got caught. This happened to me before as a solo as well. Why does he call me an asshole? You ran up on me. Would you, would you want me to shake your hand? I don't even have a home. I just have what I had. Oh, dear. I mean, based on his inventory, he does look kind of new. I could give him the stuff back. Even though I offered to give Dark Angel his stuff back, he started to act really salty. And when other players told him to get over it, he started saying that I shot him while fishing and then that he had waved at me first. Despite all of this, I went to the trader and waited 15 minutes for him to grab his stuff, but all he wanted to do was complain instead of coming to get it, so I just left the trader. And then I continued on my way to scout that small base that I was originally going to check out before this strange encounter. From what I recall, you can destroy tents, unless something changed recently. Okay, so this is just one wooden door. And then I see there are containers inside. This might be new construction as well. The windows aren't even boarded up yet. Try to quietly sneak up here. Looks like they are boarding this up. Oh my god, this is his base! This guy was lying, you're not new! <laughs> oh, he's mad now. Now he's mad. Dude's crying and he lives right there. Oh, he's so lucky on C4. I'm marking this base though. We're going to raid this. You want to play that way? Let's play that way. Alright, let's check his tents real quick. Empty tent. We'll take that. I might risk it all here and try to break this tent. He has raid tools. Detonator receiver. 40 sheet metal. We'll take the cannabis workbench kit. I do have some seeds from earlier. That goes for like 30-40k at the BM. And a free cold lock. I can't help but think about one thing from earlier. This guy was running from this base that we just raided the tent at, right? This is his base. He was running this direction. I caught him here right like on this road. This is where I killed him. And he said he was going to a fishing spot. That's what his words were in all chat, right? He was running ex directly from here to here. But there's no shot he was going to fish at this pond because why wouldn't you just fish here? You have a lake right next to your house. So I think he might have another base here or something's going on up here because he had all of his sellables. 
why would you be running into that location to fish with all of your sellables? Why wouldn't you just drop it off at your base? Like, we know that was his base for a fact. He was in there when I killed him. So I'm going to go check it out before I die. Just to get some info and uh, see what's going on over there. Yep, there's a base here. And this one's looking built up. So we have a tier 2 at least. This could be gate stacked to like... Hell. We well, see at least one other gate there. But I'm telling you, it's safe to assume he could have like 5-6 gates in there. At the very least. But you know what? We have our main raid target now. That's what matters. We just need to grind money. In most other cases, I probably would have just let this go, but Dark Angel's bad attitude and lying motivated me to take him down. For tonight, I couldn't do much other than upgrade my base door to metal and lock away all of my gear, but I knew tomorrow would be a busy day of trying to get raid tools. The next morning, I was joined by my friends Emnix and Cross, who had logged out near my old starter base. As he loaded in, Emnix told me that he heard somebody moving outside of my old base. I go back, there's two of them that came out. Wait, 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 wait. Someone cut down the tree next to me. Oh, fuck. I can respawn there. Hold up. Is there a gun in there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna drop all my gear and respawn there. Are you are you near him? Yeah. Coming out. Are you fighting him already, or? I shot him with the AX-50. The, the well, tree where'd he go? My bullet. I think down here again, or in, still in the trees here. There's a base down the hill. Like a big base. It's metal. Oh wait, it's open. It might be raided. It's open. This is our neighbors. I was worried about them yesterday. Yeah, yeah, he's running. He ran in. He just ran in. Hit him once. He went left to the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, he might be stuck in that corner, bro. He's dead. He's dead. It's a BMW right there. I'm running to his gear. I need to get his vest and shit. I'm coming with you. Yeah, he just scar H. He kind of got the juice on him. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah, he's building. This may have gotten raided overnight. Oh, nails. Their door is badly damaged, by the way. Their metal door. I think we made him angry. <laughs> See you later. All right, let's grab the storage and go to main base. Gotta get out of here. Now that we grabbed the rest of the stuff from our starter base, we made our way back home to the island, and on the way, we saw that there was a King of the Hill happening nearby. If we had any chance of getting raid tools, this would be it. Please, God, let us get this. Please. Shot? Me, me, shooting zombies. Four in zone now, four. Pull well, up here in my building. What? Is he geared? I don't know, but I'm knifing him. I'm coming, I'm coming. Try to run if you can, dude. I killed him, I killed him, I killed him. Okay, good job. I'm gonna just keep capturing. Four in zone, four in zone. Got a gamer. He's out again? Yeah. Don't know which side he's coming from. Oh, what the fuck is this? What do we got? No raid tools. Oh, C4. Wait, 2 C4. Oh, shots. Yeah, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. That was super close to me. Was it? That was like right over here, I think. I heard those shots. He's got to be in the woods somewhere. I got a saline, I think, here. Minigun. Ooh, nails. Oh my god, so many detonators. I might need help carrying some shit, by the way. I got all the important stuff, though. I see him in front of me. Oh yeah, yeah. Killed him. Killed him. Is that actually nice. him? It was him. Yeah. He was sneaking. He was uh, zoning around. Yeah, he probably flanked around. Good shot. What else does he have? Good enough stuff to have ruined our days. Yeah, that's some goodies on him. Salines. Oh, take the coke. Future and coke seeds. I'm gonna take that Hector and coke, okay? Because I need a gun. Yeah, take it, take it. We don't even have room here. I need to expand this thing right now. Well, not now, but I need to expand this base soon. Yeah, that should be fine, I think. 
Nice, we got the door up. Okay, that's metal. Nice. That looks kind of stupid, but I'm gonna fix it. It's not a problem, really. We're gonna build out anyway. Let's go down south, maybe. Let's try to find uh, nails. And I think it's probably easier to find down there, right? Airdrop. Mm -hmm. We're getting blessed today. Five minutes? We could probably get that. Oh, care package is out. Yeah. Go, go, go. <laughs> Holy shit, that's a lot of zombies. Come to me. It's right here. It's right on the edge of town. We, we should be able to get this. No problem. Watch him just get sniped right there. Yep. I'm dead. From that apartment. Yeah, from the apartment. <laughs> Watch me get sniped dead. He's dead. He's dead. You're, you're a demon. Where was he? Was he in the apartment? Yeah, apartment building. On the top. Poor cross. A lot of drugs. Just drugs and coke. This is good money right here we got off this. Okay, I'm gonna get out this field. Uh, I got most of your stuff, Cross. I'm just gonna run because he's gonna respawn his bag, most likely, if he can. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I'm running. After a lucky escape, I went back to base and dropped off the drugs. We had a bunch of new seeds that we could grow, and if we successfully processed and sold everything, we would be able to afford a raid tool from the black market, and I could finally accomplish my goal of raiding Dark Angel's base. Now we just needed to head to Trader and buy some fertilizer before we could begin farming. Charcoal, did the Alphabet Mafia okay. offline you guys? It must have been them, yeah. Fucking hell, man. Oh no, that sucks. Yeah. Can't even have onlines no more these days. Yeah, I know. They're fucking pieces of shit. We're trying to ally with everybody except them, you know? Them and Tog are a group. They're allied, so we're trying to make everyone else allies against those two big groups, because they got like 20 guys between the two of them. Yeah, if you boys raid, let me know. I'll come help you guys. So it's gonna take it's gonna take the whole server pretty much to take down these two groups. The Tog boys and the uh, Alphabet gang, yeah, they're fucking. They're like a thirty. We know where crew, we know where Tog base is, each. and we jacked their helicopter. They, and they, they're teamed up. Fucking hilarious. They, keep, they just keep wiping everybody's bases. How bad did, was the hit? Did they take like a lot of your good stuff, or did you manage they to? They took fucking. They, they took everything. They took everything. That's oh, not no. good, man. I'm gonna go build real quick. Do you guys want to do a B run, BM run in a bit? Yeah, we can. Down. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we can. I'll message you guys in chat in a little bit. We, you guys are around. Yeah, we'll just meet you back at Trader or something. Yeah. Okay, for some context, the group I'm talking to call themselves the Ghost Monkeys. This was the first time I had ever met these guys, but the reason I talked to them in the first place is because I had seen one of them say that they had gotten offline raided in the chat earlier that day, and it looked like another clan named Tog may have done it. To be completely honest, I wasn't too interested in getting involved in all of the politics and fighting that goes on between factions on this server, but I did recognize this as an opportunity to form a small alliance. If these guys could try to help get me to the black market safely, then in return I would try to help them get revenge on the Tog clan after I finished raiding Dark Angel. With this plan in mind, I made my way back home to grow all of the drugs I had and prepare for a black market cell run later that day. Okay, so here's my plan. I need to fortify this island as soon as possible because people are going around raiding right now and we have a lot of seeds that we're going to grow into like coke and um, like just weed. So I want to have a secure place to do it. No, I don't have the nails to fortify this island and to be honest with you guys, I probably never will. But there's a clever way which I can make walls and it'll cost me no nails. It'll just take logs. I saw another YouTuber a long time ago, his name is Babynades, he did this in this exact same location. He lived here and he used like the frames of vanilla walls to make basically walls around this very island. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go cut a bunch of logs and try to do that. And then we'll make an entrance like right by the water side basically. And by the end of this we should have a secure compound around this island. It's probably gonna take us a while though. Okay guys, so we got the fence kit here. And now... I just gotta start placing it around the edges. I wanna put it as close to the water as I can. Okay, we'll do that. That's really not too bad. The group we met at the trader earlier, they're gonna help us out and go to BM with us. They have a heli, so we should be able to get there way faster. So what I'm gonna do right now is plant the crops, get all like the weed grown back here behind this wall. Hopefully we'll have a little bit more cover now. And then once we're back from BM, we might go raid that angel guy from yesterday. 
And then I'll finish this exterior, hopefully by tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, depending on what time it is and how everything goes. One of the big benefits of living on an island in the middle of the lake, we have unlimited water right here. This may be the most fertile spot in Livonia. We're gonna grow all types of crops. You know, after we grow weed, we'll turn this into a nice farm. Dude, we have our own little forest. Let's go. All right, the coke is done. Everything's growing, we're just harvesting now and then we have to dry it and process it and we'll be good to go to BM. The base is gonna look nice once that wall's done. This stuff is probably worth about like eight to 900,000, which means we might be able to get three raid hammers. That should be enough to raid uh, Angel from hey. last night. Uh, shit. Oh, we're right, taking all three of you guys, huh? Can we all fit, do you think? No, no, cross gonna wait you. Shit, uh... If we can only take two, we four. we'll just we'll go two then. That's no worries. Get in the heli, boys. Let's spot our course here. Our black market run went exactly as planned. We were able to land without any problems and successfully sell all of our stuff, and we had made $1 million between the three of us. We now had everything we would need to raid, so we took a flight directly to Dark Angel's base. Hey, the guys are asking if they, uh, if you guys need help with the raid. It's probably like a, a solo or a duo living there. I mean, if they want to come, they can. We're just really going to beat down a few doors. It's up to them, I guess. Okay, so it's, it's just this, uh, like the fortress house over there. We can park wherever you'd like. Wherever's safest. We're going to be cutting it close here. But I hope we get all the way in. Because you see, there's another tier 2 or something up there. But I'm going to yeah. start. Alright. The rare hammer's damaged. Probably gonna be one more use out of this. There's a locker. This is bad news, boys. Oh, no, don't tell me. This guy is a builder. He got fucked on sheet metal. God knows what's what else is in here. Okay, one hammer's gone. We have two more. Any loot in here? No, of course not. Huh, he's a workbench in the way. Tape measure. Oh, here we go, boys. This might be the last gate here. I hope this is the last one. Oh, we're in. Are these locked? I'll give him the time, oh, yes, boy. Hey, where's that hacksaw? I got it. Or the, or the saw, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we, are we finding anything? Yeah, is there anything good here? Yeah, Viking Warhammer, bro. <laughs> oh my god, this person's a hunter. Oh, what's in here? Anything good, boys? Nah. Oh, there's nails for you. There you go. You guys needed nails, right? To rebuild? 376. Holy. That's fucking stacked. Good shit, boys. Base rate hammer is. I don't think there's really much else, though. Alright, boys. Good luck. I'll go with these guys to go scout that base. Now I asked myself one question. Was this actually Dark Angel's base? We still couldn't know for sure. Everything so far led me to believe it was, but there was still that small base that I shot him at earlier. The entire reason I even wanted to raid this guy was because he was so angry that he lost some gear and losing an entire base would serve as a good lesson to not get attached to your stuff. But I couldn't help but somehow feel like I may have raided an innocent person by accident. Either way, the deal was done now, and the next step was to head down south to scout the base of the Tog clan, which we suspected were the ones that raided my allies. Yeah, that's their base down there. So it's to the right of that ping. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna bring us a little closer. You can see it. From here. it you see the big square? Yeah, it was. It's right under. Right us underneath right now. us. Oh, I see this. Okay, don't get no, too close. No, no, They're no. gonna hear us uh, talking. Just. You could literally raid that right now. That's free, bro. If we can that find works. where their loot room is, like if you can identify it, we'll just go through the we'll top down it. I'm pretty sure their their loot room is in the back left. There's no way they how are they not raided? I don't understand. It's because they're allies, that's why. It's because they got big allies. No they they're they the only ones raiding the, people. Yeah, they have the two of the biggest groups like allying with them, so. They keep raiding people before uh anybody is capable of using their, their tools. Alright boys. Thank you. Till tomorrow. We'll All try right. to get we'll try to hit him soon. Till tomorrow. Be safe. You too, you too. See ya. I can't believe that big clan is living in a base like that. There's no way. 
I got home and logged out for the night, preparing for a big raid the next day, and the next morning I got on a little bit earlier to get some building in. The way these guys had built their base, I knew that we would be able to get in by breaking just one roof, but breaking a roof would take roughly 13 minutes of standing still, and this would be almost impossible since they could likely just shoot us through the roof from below. We were also doing this raid on a Sunday afternoon when the server would be high pop and they were going to be online, so if we wanted to succeed, we would be better off waiting for these guys to leave their base and then dropping in. We've almost covered this entire side of the island, so it's not too bad. There are some gaps. It's good enough for now. We can't make it perfect. Like I said, this doesn't waste any nails, which is the best part of this, because if we spent nails on these, we'd probably lose hundreds, and I need to save the nails for the main base build like to expand outwards from what we have. But now what we're going to do is we're going to go try to raid that big clan. There's a few of them online from what I saw. I'm really just doing it to help out that uh, the boys from yesterday that clan. So if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'm not too stressed. I'm more worried about my base anyway. We'll meet up with them soon and uh, we'll head over and try to do this raid, I guess. Here we go. Here we go. Hot landing. Let's see. We need to get on that roof fast. Should we drop Chris off here then in the woods? Yeah, you can. Just, yeah. You drop him here, give him some time to walk up, and we'll just go on the roof. <laughs> I'm out. You can go. All right, go, go, go. Good luck down there, man. They're active. You see they're farming. Oh, that's how they get on the roof. Look, from the first floor. Oh, yeah. Wait, this is an easy hold. Yeah, they have really easy holds on it. That's that's the only beauty of it. Not hearing any movement. If you hold their front door, this is free, because they're probably not home right now. They would have. I feel like they would have moved if they heard the heli. Do this one where the flag is. Do where the flag is right there. This one right here. Yeah, let's just get the flag access. Just start start bashing it. Oh, Tog is talking in chat about PvP at Airfield, so they're probably out. We can't be careless because they have people logging in every second. You know, there's a lot of them. Where in, where in, where in? Oh, this bitch looking wide empty, boys. Wide open. Oh, yeah. Can you get the front door open so we can all get in? I, I'll try. I got to dismantle the flag and see what I can do. Uh, is he talking chat? Around. Tog is talking in chat. Yeah, they're, they're distracted. These have no clue what's going on right now. This is good. What do we got in here? Are these open? There are a lot of three Keep. Let's keep going. We got we got a bunch of guns here, guys. Three three eights. Oh my god! Look at the punch cards. These dudes are fucking stacked. Fence open. On the next side. Dude, look at the C4 in this one. Holy fuck. Tog, that was Tog. You killed one. That's them. That's them. You killed them. They're so. coming. I can dismantle. We can get out right now. We can do the dash right now. You guys oh, want to go? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, go, go, yeah, go, go, yeah, go. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm going to break their door. I'm knocked. I'm knocked. He's in front of me. I got caught. Fuck. He's right behind this door. I'm coming out. Don't see me. It's me. It's me. It's me. It's me. Oh, my bad. My bad. I'm getting in the heli right now. Oh, now five guys on. They're they're coming in. Yeah, yeah. That's why you guys gotta do, you guys gotta go. Just they're coming out. in. We can crawl there. out here. Crawl out here. Just give give me any gun. Give me any gun. There, just take that one. Okay. But now, oh, right here. Good kill. Good shit, bro. Good nice. shit. Good job. That's one down. Another one. Another one. Whoa! What was that? Dead! 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 Nice. Good shit. Oh my Good god, shot, that bro. was a shot. Another one dead. Good shit, boys. Did we got everything? Like, I think we should just call, uh, like, get out while we can then, if we got everything of value. Which it looks like we did. Oh, who's, who's melee? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. There's so many C4s we left here, boys. Where are we gonna meet at? After escaping the raid alive, we caught a ride home to our allies' base. It was safe to say that the raid was successful with us coming out with a bunch of C4, barter items, high tier weapons, and most importantly, we had well over a thousand nails we could share amongst each other. After we sorted out all the loot, Emnix, Cross, and I got dropped off back by our base and I turned my focus to finishing up our island fortress. And there they go, a successful raid on the people that may have offline them. We're pretty sure they got offline by that group. We actually online them, we just caught them at the perfect time. That was... Pretty lucky. It got a little bit hairy at the end, but uh, we came out on top, killed a few of them. We'll take that any day. Look at Omnix going crazy. We're making very good progress here. We almost closed off the entire island. I'll give you guys a quick walk around. There's a lot of gaps. These are going to be fixed, and plus I'm going to try to put camo nets on later. I don't know if I'll be able to, but uh, yeah. Definitely good progress being made. Omnix did this side. I uh, got to patch up 
a few holes here and there, but overall, you know, it's it's a wall, I guess. <laughs> the gate I'm gonna make over here, and I'm gonna make it in a way where you'd have to swim under to get in. That's my plan anyway, we'll see how it works out. During the next day, we discovered some new developments in our area. We had gone to the trader to buy some stuff, and on the way back out, we saw a helicopter which we proceeded to shoot down. Upon fighting the group inside the heli, we discovered that this was the Tog clan and they had recently relocated after we raided them. But now their new base was only minutes away from where we lived. It was only a matter of time before they stumbled in our direction and found us, so I had to finish the base as quick as possible. We have a guard zombie in the compound at all times, which is nice to have. Except for when he aggroes me like right there. Alright, let me just place that. Done. The entrance is sealed. The goal here is to complement the existing building. You see, whoever built this house already put a roof there. We're just extending it, so I don't gotta go crazy here. So we need to make this a little bit bigger on this side. Maybe I'm thinking two floors coming down this way and then we're gonna extend it to this back end so we can get access into this room and that's gonna be a whole lot more storage for me and then honestly that'll be enough storage for the base like i really don't need much more than that because it's not a big base and not a lot of people are living here i guess i'll start moving stuff over here and i'll code lock this as well i'll start moving industrial stuff over here gardening stuff anything that's not really that important or I'm less worried about will be placed out here. There is still this gap. I'm gonna test that out as well right now, make sure nobody can jump in. Beautiful. Now we can see uh, which way is like north and south and stuff. No, what, what time it is. <laughs> oh, is. Oh, this is for the time, all oh, my fault. <laughs> Some time has passed and we've been living out here for a week now. And the base, let's just say there's been some upgrades made. We've been working on it steadily, but look at it now. This gotta be one of the best bases I think I've ever lived in. Let me take you guys inside though and uh, give you a quick little tour. All right, so this is the front entrance. It's fully done now. And the idea is that you have to swim under like a beaver kind of and just come up into the base. So you can see here, there's a little hole you can enter from. And uh, you get into this little walkway with a little dock. And then you have to enter through this little door I inverted and crawl through. And once you do that, you're basically in our little sanctuary. I built this so that we can easily defend if somebody is trying to raid. They'd have to swim through here, unless they have a helicopter, of course, or they boost, but uh, most people won't have like a heli, so they'll probably have to swim through here and we can just have an easy hold right here. We also have these little peak downs, which you can basically look around the whole compound from. And uh, also I put barbed wire on the side so nobody can get up. I think I explained this earlier in the video, but here you can't even get up here because there's no solid ground under it's swimming. And if you swim, basically it'll put you halfway through this wall and you'll get stuck. So no one can walk up on these corners. And obviously there's barbed wire here, so nobody can get up there. Also, we have watchtowers out here. We have a watchtower, a little gardening area. We have some zucchinis growing right now. And uh, yeah, the idea was for it to be kind of like a little a hobbit base. And I kind of got that feel. You come on here, you have a big table, a viking table. I didn't put any storage here yet, we're gonna do that in a bit. But uh, the inside is far more organized now, after you go past these two metal doors. This is basically where I keep sellables, weapons, more weapons here, and uh, this is where I put the guns, but for some reason they're not showing. I think I have a few in there right now. There's not too many though. Now this side is where we keep all like the sellables, the weed, the money. Uh, the nails, but this back side is where I put all the tools and other building items that we would need for our projects. So you come on in here, you close this up, and here we have a couch and our workbench where we craft all of our parts for building. And then in here we have a shelf with another locker, and here is basically all of our building supplies, our fishing rod, anything we would need to stay out here for extended periods of time. I also put this little window just so we can see the actual like rest of the island and you can see across the water there too in case somebody is around there but it's really just to take a nice little look. As you saw earlier we used this to grow weed. I still do grow weed here 
but I mainly grow more food now. I don't really need wheat as much because like I have everything I need at this point. We don't really need much more money. But uh, yeah, we have various vegetables growing. We have tomatoes there, pumpkins, different strains of uh, cannabis. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a little gardening area. We come over here, we have a little medieval gibbet. Now this I put here because this base kind of reminds me of like a Valheim type base. I don't know, it's like a Viking vibe, like the whole entrance here. And then we have like a Viking sundial and whatnot here. So yeah, I put this here in case we ever have to trap somebody. We'll put them up there and they can sit there in the tree, just chill out. Finally here we have our little camping area. You can see the boys are just relaxing by the pool. A little fire pit here. You can just relax, cook some fish that we you catch freshly over here, and, uh, and just have a good time. And yeah, that's pretty much the base. I mean, it's nothing crazy, but it gets the job done. Like, we haven't been raided in a week, while every single other person I know has been getting raided. We've been off the grid. We're self-sufficient. I mean, you don't need anything more than that in DayZ. You just relax out here. You have a nice place to uh, raid out of, to fight out of, and you come home and just relax. The base was finally finished and we had accomplished a lot so far, but the one thing my mind kept creeping back to was Dark Angel. We believed we had raided his main base and we were probably right because he hadn't shown his face on the server in a few days now. But something about this whole encounter still seemed strange to me and I kept thinking about the small base that I had first headshot him inside. It didn't seem to have anything from what I could tell, but for closure I wanted to use our last raid hammer on it just to see if I was right all along or if it was actually his main base and we raided the wrong person this whole time. With all this in mind, we hiked over towards the starter base to figure out the truth once and for all. If this is sealed, he came back. No, oh, it's still open. This is exactly how it- so like, he peeked his head here. Literally, I shot him through this, and I never ended up going in because, like, I knew this wasn't main. These ones are sealed, though. Yeah, but, like, this definitely was not his main because he left this with barter goods. Like, he came from this direction when I killed him. But we can get in here. Oh, we can just raid it just to see. Yeah, let's just see. Oh, we're in. What do we got in here? Go, go, go. Oh, I no. Found. It's a trap base. I'll get in this. Don't you worry about it. Oh. What the? They got something for the base. Guys, look what's in there. A little Viking shelter. What? Whoa. I'm putting that in our base, man. Oh my lordy. Hello. Oh shit. Oh. Get nails, money. Let me see. What do we, what do we got here? Detonators, bro. Wait. I thought this wasn't his main base, but it... I'm so confused right now. Jesus Christ. Look at this. Look at the ammo box. Look at these. Each one of these sells for like 40k at BM, bro. The explosives. I'm so confused. If this is the main base, which it looks like there is, there's a bunch of shit, then why was he running up northeast to that other base that we raided? Did he just have two bases? Maybe, maybe he's friends with bases? them? Yeah, They're friends? Friend. Maybe we raided the wrong. Maybe that was his ally. Maybe this was his base all along. In the end, I don't really know who lived in that first base in the woods that I raided. It may have belonged to Dark Angel or one of his allies, or I could have completely overthought everything and just raided an innocent person. If it was an innocent person, maybe they had allies that would revenge raid me for what I had done to them. That's the thing with DayZ, it's a great game because there's always a tribal sense of conflict on every server you join, every group knows each other and the encounters get tense. There's always the risk of getting raided and losing it all and that's what makes everything fun. In this adventure, I had built a base that stood for well over a week in a high-stress environment and we had met some really good people along the way, so I considered my mission to be complete. All that was left now was to enjoy everything that we had built. Good night, boys. I'm logging for the night. See you guys tomorrow. Well, looks like I got some bad news, guys. The base survived for quite a while, about like a week actually since I last logged in, but it looks like somebody came by sometime in the past week where I haven't been playing, I've been like editing and stuff. And let's just say they kicked all the doors down, they even got into my back room here. The Viking hut is gone, that was my favorite part of the base, that was like the best uh, spot to cook at and stuff, they took that completely. You might be thinking this was a devastating loss and I'm probably a little bit upset right now. But you know me, I prepared for this very moment. Because in DayZ, it's not a matter of if you're gonna get raided, it's a matter of when you're gonna get raided. Even the biggest bases always fall, and me, I was prepared for this one. Guys, I have a vision. 
I'm gonna be off one of these days. Three in the morning. A Zerg is gonna come raid me. See all these raid tools, grenades, cash I have, the nails, another raid hammer, everything is gonna be hidden. So when they get in here, they're not gonna find shit. I gotta make stashes in the woods. Hopefully it'll never come to this, and I'll never need to actually use those stashes, but we gotta have a backup plan in case we get raided. Good thing I placed these so far out at the edge of the map. Look at all the stuff we would have lost if we didn't bury it. And I have a few more stashes like this all around. We basically didn't lose anything of value here. I just gotta find a bigger bag to put this all in because I don't have a bag right now. It feels good to not lose all of our stuff. But that still leaves the question. Where do we go next? Do I rebuild that base? Upgrade it? Or do I go start a new adventure? Maybe in a different land. Maybe Trinaris. Or an entirely new place. I don't know where this journey is going to take me. But wherever it does go, you guys will catch it in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you stuck around this long. Love you all, and I'll catch you in the next one.